Hello, this is Bashar. In this tutorial, we are going to see the JPA inheritance and we will practice that on the Spring Data Audit tutorial repository. First, let's show what we mean by inheritance. So we have this articles endpoint and we have this audit fields like the created by at and modified by and modified at fields. And when we send our request, these fields are filled with the JPA audit functionality. And when we send the update, those fields are filled with the corresponding user and the modified date fields. And we can repeat the same functionality for other entities like this comments. And we will be able to send the request and those fields will be automatically populated for the post and the put requests. So these fields are basically going to be inherited from a super class. And in this tutorial, we are going to practice that one. As usual, we have this repository right here. This one is for the Spring Data Audit tutorial. And uh, it, we started from the main and we completed our implementation in the final branch. Now we are going to do our implementation on top of this final. Final inheritance branch will be containing the final result we are going to do in this tutorial. So I have already cloned this repository and it is open in VS Code. Currently I'm on the main branch. Let's switch to final and let's go over the project structure. So this is running the Spring Boot version 2.4 and using the Java version 11. There is this JPA dependency, security, web dependencies and the others are for the development environment. And if we check the source, we have this main class, we are enabling the JPA auditing. We have the configuration for audit aware implementation. And this is getting the user from the security context and it is just returning that information back. And we have this security configuration and that's for this, uh, this articles endpoint. And in the article package, we have this article entity. We have these fields like this ID content and these are the, the audit related fields. And these fields are automatically populated by JPA auditing functionality. We are using these annotations and we are also using this annotation on top of this class definition. In our controller, we do nothing about those fields. We are just creating the article instance and we are filling it with the, the data coming in the article DTO in the post request. Now we are going to move this part out of this entity and let's start like this. Let's create a uh, class right here. Let's call this one as auditable. And let's move these fields, just cutting them from here and pasting here. And let's import these in this class. And let's also cut this part, this entity listener from here and pasting it to this auditable. And let's also add the data annotation right here and also importing this entity listener here. And let's remove unused imports. Now in this article, we are going to just extend this auditable. But we need to do one more thing here to make the fields in the auditable to be part of this entity. We need to add an, another annotation to this auditable. And that is, for this case, mapped super class. So with this annotation, we are allowing the, these fields to be inherited by the entities. From database point of view, this auditable is invisible. It is just for the extraction of the repeating parts of the fields in our entities. So in the end, the article will be having these fields and the corresponding table will be also having these fields. Now let's save all these changes and let's start our application. And let's open Postman and let's send a post request. 
And here we are seeing this created by, created at, modified by, and modified at are added to our entity. Now we can repeat the steps and add a new package for, let's say, command. Let's do that. This is going to be a command package and we will have this command entity. We will have command controller. We will have command repository. And we will have command DTO. This is for the request body coming with the post and put requests. Now in the entity, we will have, let's say we will have the string of command. And this is going to be an entity and it's going to be extending auditable. And we will use the data annotation. And since this is going to be a table, we must be having an ID. And we can also extract this ID from this entity to our auditable class. Let's do it like this. Now the article is basically just the content and the command is also having just this single field. The others are coming from this auditable. And in command controller, we will be having this rest controller annotation right here. And let's have the post mapping for API 1.0 commands. It's going to be returning back the command object and it's going to be taking request body, which is going to be a command DTO object. Command DTO. And we are going to also need this command repository to be injected here to wired command repository. By the way, let's update this command repository. This is going to be an interface and it's going to be extending the JPA repository. And this is going to be for command entity and the primary key of this command is the long and let's also update this command DTO this is going to be having just the field of command again adding data for getter and setter so here in command controller we will be receiving this command DTO and we will be creating this command object right here and we will set the commands command field with the value coming from this command DTO. And we will just save this through command repository. And since this is going to be returning back the saved instance, we can just return this one. Similarly, we can add the put mapping, but let's leave it like this. Let's save all these changes and let's go back to postman sending a post request for this is for the articles it's working and this is for updating articles it's also working let's send a request for comments and here we are seeing the comment is saved and we have the corresponding audit data in it so that's how we can use the inheritance with the mapped super class. And we can extract the fields, repeating fields in our entities like this. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorials.